Hello everybody, I'm Dutch and today I want to talk to you um, about sewing machines, the different ways the bobbins are held in and particularly I want to go over tension and how to adjust tension. You know a lot of times uh, thread tension, um, although it can be a little frustrating, is blamed for a lot of problems that just um, isn't really the problem. Um, the only thing thread tension is, is how much you're pulling from one side to the other. You want to try to keep it balanced from the top thread to the bottom thread. And, um, and if you're getting loops on the bottom, um, very often I find that the machine isn't threaded correctly. So uh, on a sewing machine, um, there's two main kinds. One would be a drop-in bobbin. A lot of home machines have this, and the bobbin is just set down And you really are not able to adjust the tension that is on that bottom bobbin. What, what you feel here when you grab this yellow thread is the amount of tension that you're going to get. And, um, and if that isn't correct, you wind up usually having to have it serviced. Um, I prefer machines where you put the bobbin into a bobbin case and then you put the bobbin case into the machine. So um, on this you'll see that when the thread gets put in here, um, it is going to go under this tensioner. And this tensioner is controlled by this screw right here. So when I tighten this down, it pulls down on this flange of metal and gives you a little bit of tension. Um, anytime I go and I, when I start sewing or, um, or if I'm trying to troubleshoot a problem, I like to take this and I like to pull this I like to feel that that's um, going to be nice and smooth and have a, a certain amount of tension. If you do this uh, frequently, then um, you get a good feel for it and you know um, how your machine runs really well. So today we're going to do it on, on the Singer. This is a uh, Singer Heavy Duty. This is a very common home machine. And, um, and the because it is just dropped in there, it just goes around a hook that's on here, um, and then the thread is pulled up through where the needle goes, and there is not much you can do to adjust the bottom tension, and all you're going to be doing is adjusting the uh, top tension. So um, very often there is either a knob that you turn that has uh, two discs that, that are compressing that with a spring to give you more tension. One thing to note is when you lift up the pressure foot, the tension, those discs are opened up and you don't have any tension. And that's why when you lift up the pressure foot, you're able to just pull your work right out. Because if there was, if it was still going through the tension, um, it is very hard to pull that thread. Whereas if I pull this out, the thread comes out without any tension at all. So, Again, when I come and I sit down on a sewing machine and I'm getting ready to sew, one of the first things I do is I pull the, t I pull the thread because I want to feel how much tension. I want to feel that that's nice and smooth and that there is a certain amount of tension so that um, I learn how much tension my machine runs well with. One more note, because I'm pulling this through here, it's getting all curled up. One more note um, on a needle. A needle um, is not just a pin with a hole in it. It has a slot on the front side. And that is um, where you're going to be putting the thread through. On the back side, sometimes that's on, over on this side, there is actually a notch, and that is because a hook is coming around right at the right time and catching, and, and that notch or cutout um, is what gives the room for that hook to come in there and catch that thread um, so, that, so that it can wrap around the bobbin and you're actually making little tiny, I wouldn't just call them knots, but they're catching so that it is sewing. Anytime you sew, 
you want to have this, the arm, all the way up. I want the needle to be all the way up. Now, we're going to sew. I have it set right now for zigzag, and I am going to set it for no tension at all. Um, another thing I like to do to determine um, that I have the right tension from the top to the bottom is I put two different colored threads and then I sew it on a different colored material. That way I can really see what's going on. So the zigzag, um, it benefits me by being able to see a little bit better with what is going on. So if this arm was not up, I would want to turn the wheel so that it is having to stop right at the right spot. Now on here, the top thread being orange and the bottom thread being yellow, you don't see any yellow on this side. You come over on this side and you see lots of orange. That is because um, there is no tension or very little tension on the orange thread. So it is being pulled down through. This is not that strong of a stitch. And, um, and if I'm to pull this, the threads um, move quite easily because, um, because there was no tension to really tighten that down on the, uh, tighten the orange down onto the yellow. So let's go completely the other way. That was not much tension. We're going to go lots of tension. Same thing. Now this time, you can see lots of yellow and there's almost a loop because, um, because there's so much tension that that is pulling that yellow thread completely through. Um, so that is an example of too much, um, too much tension on the top thread compared to the bottom thread. Now, since we're not able to adjust, like when you have a bobbin case, um, the only thing we're gonna be able to adjust on here is the top thread. So let's go halfway. Now, if I was fine tuning this, um, I'm going to move pretty much in whole, in whole number increments, um, generally a half a number on this. You're really not going to see that much of a difference. Now with that tension set correctly, I see very little, very little dots there of yellow on the one side. I see very little dots of orange on the other side. And, um, and that is what you want to see because you want those threads max, uh, meeting in the middle of the fabric and, and, uh, and not on one side or the other. Ideally, um, you wouldn't be able to see any of the bottom thread on the top and the top thread on the bottom. So, thank you everybody.